Hey there, happy Monday. I hope you're having a great day so far. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kathleen Borsch and I am the owner and the maker of the products that you find at notsofgrace.com. What I do here on Mondays is I come to you with a little bit of inspiration in the form of a hug. And that hug comes from this devotional called Hugs, Daily Inspirations for Women. Inside this devotional, every day of the year, there is a Bible verse. Well, there's a theme. And then there's a Bible verse and a quote and a description of the theme. And so on Mondays, what I do is I bring one of those to you here as a way for us to kickstart our week on a positive note. So let's jump into today's. For those of you who are following along in your own copy, I'm reading from October 23rd. And today's message is facing fear. The Bible verse for today is Psalm 118, 6. And it says, the Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Do you prefer to face your fears rather than run from them? If so, you will be blessed because of your willingness to live courageously. When the Apostle Paul wrote to his young protege, Timothy, he reminded him that the God they served is a bold God. The God and God's spirit empowers his children with boldness also. See 2 Timothy 1.7. Like Timothy, we all face times of uncertainty and fear. And God's message is the same to us today as it was to Timothy. We can live boldly because the Spirit of God resides in us. Today, as you face challenges, the challenges of everyday living, remember that God is with you and be not afraid. And this week's quote is from Grace Murray Hopper. And she said, a ship in port is safe, but that's not what ships are built for. I hope you take a few minutes now and you sit and pray and meditate on today's message about facing fears. Because as Grace Murray Harper said, ships aren't made to be at port, they're meant to be sailing. Of course, I'm paraphrasing there. If you know somebody who needs this message or you think they would enjoy this message, please forward it to them. I hope you have a wonderful week. I'll see you next time, next Monday right here. Take care.